Hello everybody, welcome back on my channel, New Year 2022nd. So, new year, new ideas, new possibilities, new opportunities, <sighs> new year's uh, resolutions, everything should be better, I wish. So, I wish you all the best in new year and at least I hope it wouldn't be worse than the previous years. So, yeah, that's all what I can do. So, um, all right, uh, actually from the title under the video, you probably already could see that um, this video may be a little bit different than my previous videos because usually I make um, reviews of feminine fragrances mostly but today I would like to just focus about men's fragrances so if you are searching some fragrance for your man or you are a man and you're watching my channel then maybe you will find one of your favorite fragrances I hope I hope that maybe you will like them so recently I've been spoken with my fiance and he just told me that right now he have three favorite fragrances and uh, we've been talking he just told me and I actually I guess I guess almost all of them which are his favorite at this moment fragrances so this uh, also kind of motivate me and uh, inspire me to make this kind of fragrance so I hope maybe you as a man or your man you he will like you will like also maybe those fragrances and maybe at least one of them could be your favorite so if you are curious then keep watching so I will just start from place number three so yeah and I'm talking about Versace Pure Lone so it's this one I need to watch out because the head of Medusa is falling apart you see um, he already have for really long time this fragrance um, he really enjoying to wearing this this is also one of the fragrances which I like it's kind of fresh and uh, the same way it's not too fresh uh, I right now I just check uh, some notes in Fragrantica and there was written that the top notes are citrus uh, the top, no top notes are citrusy very citrusy but actually it's not like a main note citruses because otherwise he wouldn't like them and I know that he doesn't like citrusy fragrances I know that some of them are really nice and they are really great and he likes to smell on other people but he doesn't like personally wear citrusy fragrances he doesn't like them so it's it's citrusy it's fresh it's nice fragrance but at the same way it's very also um, I couldn't say that heavy but it's very well blended that it can be perfect for any occasion and any season mostly it's like fresh fragrance to wearing inside the building I would say but if you will apply it during the winter time it's also okay because it's nice fresh fragrance and you may wear it you know to the you know white shirt and blue jeans and also it's gonna be perfect during the wearing suit and you're gonna also you know fit perfectly with this scent so it's fresh but not too fresh it's for any occasions it's very versatile fragrance for any seasons any occasions so if you are searching really like very versatile fragrance which is gonna be perfect for till summer to winter I would recommend you to test this one I know that men's really like it and I wish that you men also will like it or you as a man you will also like it if you didn't knew this one so please check it 
soon you know maybe not soon because now we have a january but already you can just make some research to search nice fragrance for summer okay so the place number two the place number two for him is fahrenheit from dior or the toilet so we've been testing both versions, Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. And I must say that Eau de Parfum is very intensive, really nice, blended, very... Um, even way more heavier in opening than Eau de Toilette. But I have feeling like Eau de Parfum is very loud on the beginning, but going down during the wearing. So like after a few hours you are already and you know, you could you cannot smell already this smell you cannot smell you cannot enjoy anymore this fragrance because it's so you know it's losing on intensity during the wearing it's it's nice it's loud it's awesome on the beginning but during the dry down it's going down and it's turning down it's not so loud it's not so intensive uh, other toilet is like you know more one liner so when you spray it in my opinion it's smelling the same during during the whole day and it's also very long lasting fragrance it's mostly fragrance for winter and autumn time it's very heavy so it's like woody notes um, with violet and vetiver and also some smoke and this is the note which he really liked in opening the smoke note it's like a smoked wood he really loved it when he smelled it when he first applying this he just even told me when he's applying this fragrance the first note which he, which he really smelled intensively and really nicely is it's this note of smoked wood he really liked it so it's very nice heavy intensive fragrance but more for winter and autumn time i remember one time uh, when he just asked for a sample of this fragrance and we've been driving somewhere on the shopping i don't know and we sit together in the car so i had to i really had to open the window and i i had to i couldn't smell my own perfumes and I had to open the windows because for me already this fragrance was too heavy. But after, you know, so many times, uh, I'm already used to smell this fragrance. So for me, it's not so intensive. But if you are, w you are searching some nice fragrance, heavy, intensive for winter and autumn time with some smoked wood notes, I would recommend it, this one to test. The other thing is that um, I would actually recommend you to both test them to, to test other perfume and other toilet because uh, it's up to you what you're gonna choose. Yes, which version you will like the most. Maybe you will like most other perfume version. But uh, if you will like other toilet version, I will recommend you to quickly and to just hurry to the perfumery store or, uh, store or just quickly buy on the internet because soon um, this fragrance will be discontinued. I don't know when exactly, in which year, but it's like a few years, until a few years, I don't know, three, four years, I don't know exactly, I forgot. <sighs> so soon this fragrance will be discontinued because there is too much amount of violet note of the violet absolute so like i will tell you why there are some companies which are testing fragrances so before you will buy cosmetics also some uh, companies need to test this dermatological companies are testing uh, some cosmetics to check uh, is it everything okay is it not you know something we will may uh, cause re allergic reaction on your skin so they need to also check it is it you know all ingredients allowed in each country because 
everywhere are different restrictions so in Europe there are different restrictions than in non Europe in non Europe countries everywhere is like different story so <sighs> It's the same story with fragrances. There are some companies and one of the most, I think, popular is Ifra. I don't know, I don't remember the full name. I just checked it already and I don't remember. It's something like... something associations, I don't know. I will put somewhere the picture of this logo because I just, I just already checked it and I forgot how it's called. So the one of the of the companies the most popular in my opinion I think because I when I read something it's the most uh, appearing logo Ifra. So I think Ifra is the most popular company which is also testing amount and checking amount of some uh, absolute ingredients in the perfumes and for them too much is uh, violet absolute in this fragrance. So Without this violet absolute, which is which is really most, I think, also one of the most intensive uh, notes here, uh, except the vetiver and you know the smoky root um, scent. I think this it's really main um, note in this fragrance because you can really smell it very intensively. So without this violet absolute, it I think this fragrance doesn't have sense. So maybe that's why because this scent is like from 1985, if I'm correct. I don't know, it's really old fragrance. And they create, if I'm correct, in 2000, I don't know, 15 or the perfume version of even maybe later. So, which is kind of similar, but it's not the same story. Uh, so if you are if you are very interested and you like all the toilet version I will tell you right now to buy it slowly you know without rush just buy it because soon it can be discontinued and then the problem will start because everyone will start searching on each website and then it's gonna be gone from all of the websites so now if you are curious you like this fragrance then just keep buy but don't be crazy because I also need to buy for my fiance. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's that's all. It's it's very heavy, nice fragrance. Definitely for winter and autumn time. That's all what I can say. Okay, and place number one for him is. Creed Aventus. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will put some of the picture probably here. The Creed Aventus battle will appear. Uh, Creed Aventus is like the main player already from several years uh, in the men's fragrances. So Creed Aventus is like the most popular fragrance in the men for men's like right now. Unfortunately, it's niche fragrance so it's very expensive uh, for 50 ml um, the prices are like over 100 euro i guess till 200 if i'm correct yeah or i think even more over 200 euro till even something like that the price is for this fragrance really crazy and also it depends on which batch you will you will get you know because they are a little bit different like it's depend of the year okay this year we had better hairs for this notes you know for this things which is in this note which is in this uh, fragrance so also they are a little bit different in in sense from this what i heard so sometimes it's more fruity sometimes it's more fresh sometimes it's more uh, leathery so you never know which pet you will buy. You can of course check and first you know write to the to their you know company where you're gonna buy it. But from this what I hear, you never know on which on which batch you will you will get. So, like I said, Creed Aventus is really expensive, and you know it's not not everyone. It's 
um, able to buy it, but it's really nice fragrance. It's super versatile. Super versatile, so it's also for all seasons, all, all occasions fragrance. You can wear it like the same like the place number three. So you can wear it with white shirt, blue jeans and also with suit with really nice elegant clothes. Um, doesn't matter from occasions, doesn't matter from season. Perfect for summer, winter, autumn, whatever. It's amazing and it always be good for any occasion. Super versatile fragrance. It's in the same way fresh but also a little bit heavy and nicely blended. So I will try to put for each fragrance also notes somewhere on the side. And uh, like I said, unfortunately this is niche fragrance which is really expensive. So I was I was really into into buy some dupe of this fragrance. So there is like two dupe of mainstream fragrances, which are I think the most popular dupes for Creed Aventus. One of them is Club de Nuit Intense and another one is Montala... Montala? No. Uh, oh my god, I forgot the name. Mont Blanc. Explorer. Yeah? Yeah, Mont Blanc Explorer. I will put, of course, summer pictures. So, because Club de Nuit, I found way more cheaper than Mont Blanc Explorer. So, I first, I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy Club de Nuit because it's cheaper and if he doesn't like it, then I'm gonna buy for him Mont Blanc or just sample of Mont Blanc to, Mont Blanc to check it. So, I got Club de Nuit. I remember when uh, I ordered this parcel and I leave it in the kitchen on the table and he later came back from their work and I just said you can you have a present on the table and he just opened this he sprayed in the kitchen you know just spray in the air because he didn't know what is this so I said just spray it you will check so he sprayed he was like oh my god it's Creed Aventus. I said, no, it's a dupe of Creed Aventus, one of the, the best, which I could buy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but, you know, it's not, it's not the same. So I just make a research of, you know, the most similar to Creed Aventus fragrances, like clones, fragrances which are inspired by Creed Aventus. So, yeah, I hope that you will like it. So when he sprayed in the air, it exactly smelled like Creed Aventus. Even after a few hours when I came back to kitchen on the evening, still I could smell this fragrance. So it's really, really intensive. And also the original version is also really intensive, but it's depend also from the badge, because I hear that some badges are really super bad and they are last for like two and a half hours. So it's like super disgusting. <laughs> you know, pay so many money and you even don't know what you're gonna buy, like, which page I'm gonna get. Yeah, it's crazy. So, uh, yeah, so this one is like in the air, it was super, super realistic, like the same smell like Creed Aventus, but I must say, I don't know, is it up to the skin pH? Because when he's applying this fragrance on his skin, it's, I can smell a more synthetic note and leather note it's way more intensive here than in original Creed Aventus. So I don't know is it active pH of the skin or actually this fragrance is just like that. I cannot say it but it's more leathery in, and those notes are more synthetic. You can smell that it's more synthetic than than the original Creed Aventus. About Mont Blanc Explorer, I cannot say a lot because I never tried this one. So I had no occasion to check it. So I don't know how it smells, but I just giving you a tip. You can always try which one you will like the most, Mont Blanc or Club de Nuit. And yeah, I think that's all for now. So 
see you soon and I hope you will okay and your family also and I wish you all the best in New Year 2022. Bye!